Hi and welcome to another tutorial, a beginning Drupal tutorial. My name is Steve from WeaverMultimedia.com. Um, today we're going to be getting into web forms. They're pretty cool. You can set up uh, people to contact you. They actually, you can download the information that's saved from them um, onto an Excel file and use it in mass mailers or what have you. But it's a really cool module um, for like a contact us type section on your Drupal CMS website. All right, let's get started. Uh, first, I'm going to go into the site building on my admin menu, which uh, is a module you want to uh, enable to do this kind of thing up here at the top. Uh, I won't get into that. I've talked about it in la later or uh, previous, I'm sorry, tutorials. But uh, we're just going to go enable our web form module right now. So we're going to site building modules. Okay, and we're going to go down here to actually, I think it is under the core group of modules. Maybe not. <laughs> Keep going down here until I see it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There it is. It's under other. And here it is. I've already enabled web form, so we're good to go there. Um, that's all you really need to enable for that. So we're going to go over here to content management create content and web form so I'm going to click on that okay and you can have it as a, just like a page or a story or, or a blog uh, you can have it as one of your menu items so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it as contact oops go back there contact us make it a primary link that looks good Okay, and the title is actually going to be Contact Us again. This will show on the page itself. And description, you can write anything. Please drop me a line. That's all I'm going to put. Um, and the confirmation message, which is right below the description, is what they see when they actually submit their information to you. So I'm going to say, thanks for your interest. We'll be in touch. Okay, that's all you have to do. You can make it uh, snazzy with some HTML, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to let anybody be able to submit this form. And then the email to address, this is who's going to get the, um, the email uh, that comes off of this web thingamajig. So I'm just going to put mine, uh, Stephen at Weaver. Okay, that looks good. And the email from name, that's what the email, when it comes to you, what it'll look like. It'll say it's from tutorial, that email address, and then form submission, it will say from contact to us. So you'll know if you have multiple web forms on there, you'll know where it's co coming from. You can also make a custom one, but I'm just going to keep it at contact us. So I'll know right when that email gets there, oh, someone's contacted me from the website. There's some advanced settings you can... Uh, use in there. Uh, I'm not really going to go into that right now. You Remember to put in your meta tag so people can find this page on Google. The path settings I'm going to keep at um, contact slash us. It's good to do this. Makes it look a little better up in the URL box. Uh, no attachments, authoring information. And just make sure we're going to publish that. Okay, looks good. We're going to hit save now. All right, and this is the part where you actually enter in the form components of your web form. Once you've got all that basic information of how it's going to look like, you're going to en enter in here the actual components of the form. So as you can see, you go into edit, and then there's a configuration, which was you were just at, and then there's form components. So basically, uh, we're going to enter that in here. I'm going to go first, first name. I got that there. And that's going to be a text field, so it's just like a one line type of thing. And I'm going to keep that on mandatory, and that is going to be included into the email. So I'm going to click Add on that. There's my dog barking. So first name, that looks good. You can give a description in case it's something uh, that you want to give a more of a description to. You can also give it width and max length of the, the field in case you wanted to. I think those are actual character sizes, different characters. Uh, for the max length um, and the width 
type of thing. But, uh, you know, you can do that as you want. I'm not really going to enter it in now. I'm just going to hit submit. So now we got the first name in there, and now I'm going to enter a last name. And that's also going to be mandatory. And I'm just going to add that again. It's going to be just like that, so we really don't need to add anything. I'm just going to hit submit. That's all I need to do. And for this one, I'm going to actually put in an email because there is a type here, a drop down, that will show you that you're able to enter an email field. You can also enter in a bunch of other things like select, which we'll get into, time, and you can actually add a file to it as well. So they can upload a file onto your web form. But we're just going to go to email right now. So this will make sure that they enter an actual email address, something at something.com or something like that. So we're going to just add that. All those look good. You can do whatever you want to describe that or whatever we want to do, but we're just going to go into that. That's all you really need to do is just add that on there. So now we get email, first name, last name. How about something they can select? Um, how about newsletter or something like you would you like to sign up for? our newsletter in case they wanted to in case we had a newsletter and that's actually going to be a select so we're going to select that and that's going to be mandatory as well and we'll email it to us so under select there's a couple things you need to do here's the options so for this one it's either yes or no so what we're going to do is put yes and on a separate line put no you can do this as many options as you want for something in select so just keep going. Yes, no, maybe so, something like that. But that's all you really need to do. You can also make it multiple so they can put yes and no as their options, but we're going to leave it as yes or no. You can also make it as a list box, which means it'll be a drop down, but we'll keep it as radio buttons right now. All right, that's all we need to do. So we're going to hit submit on that. And the last thing I want to do is a text area for any comments or questions. So I'm going to enter comments or questions. We're going to keep that as a text area. That's going to make a bigger area for them to type in. Make that mandatory and hit add. All right, that all looks good. I'm not going to go through that. Okay, so now our form looks good. We got a first name, last name, email. Would you like to sign up for our newsletter, comments, or questions? What I'm going to do is hit submit on all of those form components. So that should be good. All right. Now we can actually view what our contact form looks like. So I'm going to go back to view. And here it actually is. We've got our drop me a line, first name, last name, email. Would you like to sign up for our newsletter? Yes, no, which is the radio buttons. And then comments or questions. All right, looks good. Um, I'm actually going to try it out, see if it actually works and gives me that um, confirmation message. You want to try them out of course if you have an email uh, to see if they actually get to you there might be something wrong with your server I'll say yes and I'll put in hi okay let's see if this works submit alright thanks for your interest we'll be in touch you can actually go back to the form from here alright looks like everything is working well we got our link on our primary menu items here which will take us to the contact us page and that's really a just a bare bones how to get up how to get your web form up and working there's also some cool things when if you go into the results of the web form you can see who submitted from where IP address type of thing um, which is pretty cool you can see an analysis of what people have entered for each uh, little f uh, submission thing on there each form component you can also see a table of it, um, and you could download it, like I said before, into a delimited text or a Excel file, which makes it really cool. But that's basically bare bones of how to do a web form on your website. I hope this was informative. My name is Steve from WeaverMultimedia.com. Please join me again for another beginning Drupal tutorial.